the high height. This is Doc Mountain and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time visiting this channel, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit on the subscribe button so that you are able to trust this channel. Oh, yeah. So now, without any further ado, let's get into, th into things. Uh, so now we have this rule under our calculus that we're going to focus on. It's called the product rule. What does when does it happen to be applicable when you're differentiating functions? So this rule is only applicable when you're dealing with the product of two functions. When you have two functions that are being multiplied, then you can apply the product rule. Now the product rule is actually stated as follows. So this is only applicable when the, the function u and v are differentiable at x. So this is what we're going to apply. This is what we're going to apply. So now the first step that you have to, to make is when you have two functions like this, let one of the functions be u, the other one be v. So we we'll say let u be this first function which is here x goes to the power 2 and then v be x plus 2 after having done that we can differentiate these two functions so say we are differentiating u with respect to x so say du dx is equal to the 2 we are, we are now applying the power over here the 2 will drop and you will be, will be multiplied by x. So we're going to have 2x. Then you subtract a 1 there. There'll be a 1, but then mostly we don't show the 1 there. So the derivative of this function here is this one here. How about the derivative of this function? So we are differentiating v with respect to x. So dv dx is equal to. This x is like this. So when you differentiate it, there is a 1 there, but it hasn't been indicated. So the 1 will drop, which will multiply by the variable there. Then you subtract a 1 there. So that would be 1 times x, x, 1 minus 1, that's 0. Now, according to the laws of indices, any number raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. So the derivative of this function v is actually 1. After differentiated this, after having differentiated, these two functions. What we're going to do is we are now going to apply the rule here. Say d dx. Now it's the product of the two functions u and v. Now u is actually x raised to the power 2 and uh, v is x plus 2 which is equal to now from that, what we do is, this is the function u. So I will write the values of fun the function u. That is x squared. It's being multiplied by the derivative of the function v. So that's dv dx, which is equal to 1. Then plus, this is a plus, v is this function, which is function v. x plus 2 multiplied by the derivative of the function u. So that's uh, 2x. After having done that, we can expand out the brackets. So x squared times 1, that will be x squared. Plus x times 2x, that will be 2x squared. Then plus 2 times 2x, that will be 4x. When you check properly, you're going to notice that this and that term are like terms because they are raised to the power 2. They have the same power, so we can add them. There is a 1 here. We add it to that to be 3x squared plus 4x. So when you differentiate this product of these two functions, the answer is that. That's the derivative. <coughs> Let's do example 2. So, for example, two, 
first of all we let this function to be u and the other one to be v so we say let u be x squared plus 2 and then v be 2x minus 3 after having done that the, the second step you have to take is you differentiate these two functions so we are differentiating u with respect to x so it will be du dx is equal to use the power rule here the 2 will drop to be 2x you subtract a 1 that be 1 here but you won't get that when you differentiate these two here when you differentiate the constant the answer is a 0 so it will be 2x plus 0 which will be 2x so I'll leave it like that then we differentiate v with respect to x that will be dv dx is equal to check this one out we have 2x there is a 1 here but though it hasn't been indicated so the 1 will drop multiplied by the coefficient here and then you subtract a 1 1 times 2 plus 2x 1 minus 1 that's a 0 so now anything raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 so it's the x that is 1 so 2 times 1 that's a 2 so the derivative the derivative of 2x is actually a 2 there is a constant here when you differentiate it the answer will be 0 so that will be 2 minus 0 which used to be a 2 after having come this far the next step now that you have to make is you actually bring in this uh, rule so that's d dx you're saying the product of these two functions u and v so we can indicate the functions whose derivative we want to determine so u is actually x squared plus 2 then v that's uh, 2x minus 3 okay, so that will equal to now check out we are coming to this so that's u the function u which is uh okay, i'll write them here that is uh, x squared plus 2 then dv dx that's 2 then plus v is actually 2x minus 3 multiplied by the derivative of u that's du dx now we found all this so you have 2x that way after having done this we can now expand the brackets say these two will, will be multiplied by okay we can even start from here x squared times 2 that will be 2x squared then 2 times 2 that will be a 4 we can now expand those here we can indicate the operation plus then 2x times 2x that will be 4x squared then negative 3 times 2x that will be negative 6x after having done this we can now collect the like terms so that will be 2x squared plus 4x squared and remember the powers actually matter the most here those variables with the same powers are, are like terms so that we we now have minus 6x plus 4 now when we add 2x squared plus 4x squared we simply add the coefficients 2 to 4 2 plus 4 that will be 6 x squared minus 6x that's all so that's how we go about you know dealing with such kind of problems that have to do with calculus when you have the product of two functions thank you so much for watching the video to the end stay blessed look forward to the next videos